So in this video, we're going to look at this problem. A particle moves in a straight line, and at time t has velocity v, where v is equal to 2t, take away 12e to the minus t, where t is greater than or equal to 0. First of all, find an expression for the acceleration of the particle at time t. OK, so remember that we're looking at s, v, then a. OK, so reading off SUVAP, but in that direction so we can understand that v is 2t minus 12e to the minus t. So if I want to find the acceleration I need to differentiate down. So differentiate this. 2t differentiates to 2. Now the coefficient of the t here is minus 1. That multiplies with the minus 12 so we get plus 12e to the minus t. Okay so that is my expression for the acceleration as required for a part 1. State the range of values of the acceleration of the particle. Now, if I was to draw an acceleration time graph, okay, then the thing about this is that when t is 0, I'm going to get 2 plus 12e to the 0. So 2 plus 12, so 14. Okay. And as t increases, e to the minus t decreases. OK, it gets closer and closer and closer to 0. And so it's getting closer and closer to 2 plus 12 lots of 0, or just 2. So we have the asymptote at 2. So this is what the curve will look like, OK, tending towards that asymptote. So the range of values of the acceleration, well, it's going to be less, or sorry, greater than 2, okay, because it can't hit that asymptote, less than or equal to 14, equal to when t is 0, but otherwise less than. So the last question, when t is 0, the particle is at the origin. Find an expression for the displacement of the particle from the origin at time t. So the displacement, I need to integrate back up. So 2t integrates to t squared. e to the minus t will integrate to minus e to the minus t, OK? Because e to the minus t differentiates down. So integrating back up, we're going to get to plus 12e to the minus t. If you're not too happy with that, OK, uh, just think about if I differentiate this, I get back to this. And you'll notice how I'm differentiating that, I get to this. So this... Um, uh, must also integrate up as well, OK? So it keeps on changing sign because of that coefficient of the t. And I'm also going to have a plus c, a constant of integration, OK? Now I'm told that when t is 0, the particle is at the origin. So when t is 0, the particle is at the origin, so the displacement is 0. So I get 0 is equal to t squared, so 0 squared, plus 12 lots of e to the 0, which is just 1, so 12 lots of 1, plus c. So c must be minus 12. And that is my expression for the displacement of the particle from the origin at time t.